अगजानम पद्मक गजाननमहर्निशम अनेक दक्तापास्मे ज्ञानदमय देव निर्मलस्फटिकाकृति आधारम सर्व विज्ञा हयग्रीव उपास्मे तृष्ण कमलपत्राक्ष पुण्यश्रवणकीर्तन वासुदेव जगद्योनि नौमी नारायण हरि व्यासा विष्णु व्यासूपा विष्णवे नमो वै ब्रह्म निध वासीष्ठा नमो नम सो वी हेव गाट लाट ऑफ नॉलेज फ्रॉम Mahabharata, which runs to more than a lakh slokas, Jaya Bharata and Mahabharata are the names that uh, the very great epic has taken names. But we have number of characters in Mahabharata who voted for Dharma, who voted for a Dharma. Though both of them know Dharma and Adharmas, but because the chief of the country is adharmic person so though there are dharmic people in the company or in the as officers in the administration they have to adapt to the policies and behavior and orders of the master of that so that's exactly how it happened even for dhrushtra or bhishma drona krupa karna aswatthama well they are all great dharmic people they know lot of neeti they have neeti and niyamas but all that features have completely became subdued because of the kind of administration because of the kind of uh, uh, feelings and sentiment and emotions and uh, thoughts of the ruler duryodhana and even his father dhrutarashtra was also helpless because he loved his first son more than anybody so whatever the first son dhrutyodhana said he was just to counter signing all that that's exactly what uh, happened and uh, a stage came though vidura has been advising him uh, in number of counts uh, but uh, they did not uh, much help in thing but there came a final stage almost when uh, pandavas completed their varavasam for 13 years and came back and claiming that their share of land or rajyam there comes the exact crisis but duryodhana's decision is known but dhrutarashtra as a father as an eldest most is an elderly person he is also responsible to provide right decision and provide a share for them and so on so at that juncture this vidura who is uh, the incarnation rather who is the abhadharma raja out of curse being born as vidura to sudra ka sudra but he was the minister to the dhritarashtra and he was very bold person as you see actually anybody want anybody should uh, Uh, give advice to the others he should be very much courageous and quite practicing also aachara villada nalige purandra dasa heltane see nalige ke aachara illa andre andre no if it is not well disciplined and vag devata is not anugraha then the aachara which anybody tells that will not have an input therefore ಈ ಆಚಾರವಿಲ್ಲದ ನಾಲಿಗೆ ಅಂತ ಪುರಂದ್ರ ದಾಸ್ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಿನ್ ಸೊ ಆಚಾರ ಅಂಡ್ ವ್ಯವಹಾರ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಟೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ಡರ್ ದಿ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನೀತಿ ನೀತಿ ನಿಯಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿದುರ ನೀತಿ ಆರ್ ವಿದುರ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಬೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಅಡ್ಮಾನಿಶ್ ಆರ್ are indirectly suggest or find out the mistakes of dhrushtra but dhrushtra is helpless and he has even brought 
the, the dialogue between the Sadhya Devatas and a Rushikumara, Rushikumara, and try to tell not only he can do, but even the Sadhya Devatas, the erstwhile gods in the galaxy of the gods, they are also wanting to know something about the Niti, something about behavior and all that, character and behavior. So they got all that from a Rushikumara who was moving in the sky in the form of a Hamsa. Hamsa is the swan, now extinct, but swan is a, is a Rushitulya uh, among the birds. It, has, it is pakka, vegetarian, it is pure and so on. So the, after that, again, Dhrutra, I mean, Vidura comes into normal talk saying that a, a person who is wicked, he will not be able to do anything positive. So now we are in the 36th chapter, next to 21 sloka and then further. In 21 sloka, he concludes, there is a statement that a person who is wicked, who earns uh, means, wealth by foul means, and he will be using his strength for an unwanted uh, uh, thing. And uh, such type of people cannot at all win honest name, nor can acquire the virtues and manners of high families. So, Mahakulinam Navrutima Apnoti Natveva Samyaglapate Prasamsa. That is what Vadura uh, is telling that the, the, the person may be living, may, be, be, may become rich, may be all that, but when his wicked behavior that will not bring him a fame and name, and uh, uh, there cannot be a good, and moreover, we cannot uh, get beget uh, the nobility of the noble families, though barren. So Mahakulina is the word which uh, Mahakulanam is the word which uh, Vidura used uh, to Dhritarashtra. See, Mahakulas means noble families. The other day I quoted, for example, in the Kanva Maharshi has trusted Dushyanta Maha, Dushyanta Maharaja, though he married his foster daughter Sekuntala in the absence, his absence, he had gone to Somatirtha to pray for Sekuntala's fine time. Then he, here you see that he says that Uchai Kulam Chatmanaha, Sahiyama Dhanaha, we are all only Sahiyama. We are always sitting in meditation, puja, austerity. But you are one noble, you are emperor. You are born in a noble family. And, and you your kula, the dynasty in which you are born, is really noble. So trusting all that, I am sending my daughter to your yard, to your place, and you have to take care of her further. And uh, like that, here, Mahakula Anam. So actually all the characters depicted in our scriptures are of Mahakula, but personal behavior and conduct will make difference among people. So that we have been seeing it. So Mahakula Anam Prasamsam Navruttam Apnoti. That is a statement made by Vidura that uh, it is hard for anybody to beget the character and conduct and dignity and pedigree value from the uh, from the ancestors if people are wicked. Now Dhritarashtra has got a question to ask him, number 22, he asks, what is the meaning of the word Mahakura? And uh, I will prucha mitvam vidura prasnametam bhavanti vai kani mahakulani. <coughs> what are the Mahakulas? <coughs> How are they formed? And my desire is to know um, what is that Mahakula? And you know, Dharma Vruddhaha, Artha Vruddhaha, Bahusrutaha, Mahakulana, Sprihayanti Devaha. The gods always like those people who have certain dignity of behavior and all that. So now, what is that high family? 
which you are talking about, Mahakula, which you are talking about, I want to know about it. So Dhritarashtra is there to enumerate more and more knowledge and uh, from Vidura, a great wisdom riddle uh, scholar. And uh, so again, Vidura immediately talks about Mahakulas from sloka number 23, which from, from which we have to do it. The last class we could not complete, we, we could not cover or continue because of the lecture we had on Viduraniti comprehensively by a good scholar who worked on Viduraniti from YS Gayatri, retired professor of Sanskrit. Now we can go with our stream of thinking and reflection and also trying to gather knowledge. Now I'm reading the 23rd sloka of the 36th chapter. Tamo damo Brahma Vitvam Vitanaha Punya Vivaha Tatadan Nadanam Yeshweite Sapta Guna Bhavanti Samya Kurta Vrutta Tani Mahakulani Yesham Navruttam Yathate Nayonihi Vrutta Prasade Nacharanti Dharmam Ye kittimichanti kule visistam, chektan rutaha, tani maha kulani. So there are hundred a number of features which will uh, really characterize ye maha kula. And he is enlisting. Basically, maha kula has got uh, seven gunas. So the seven gunas are there which will be. Uh, talking about the wonderful behavior and character and conduct of those born in the Mahakulas. Not only born, but also uh, caring the dignity of the family in which they are born. For example, Tamaha is one. That is, Tamaha, Damaha, Brahma, Vitvam, uh, Punyam, Vivaha, Satata Anadanam Bitanaha Ete Sapta Gunaha Bhavanti Yesu Te Samyakrutta Tani Mahakulani. Vidura now said asceticism, self restraint, and knowledge of the Vedas sacrifices, pure marriages, and gifts of food, Anadanam. These are the seven items which will cover the qualities of the Mahakulas. You know, Tamaha, Tamaha, Damaha, here means we have got that kind of self-restraint. There is all, it is always easy to go astray, but it is very hard for us to control our behavior and conduct and remain on the path of Dharma, remain on the path of morality, remain on the path of safety, and on the remain on the part of on the path of health. It is very easy to spoil our health in no time. But we have to be very cautious. That's why between 13 to 19 years of a boy or a girl, very prominent, they are said to be teenagers. And that is called impossible years because they don't have knowledge, they don't have patience to listen, but they are influenced by social uh, society. And uh, so, refer, they are, so that's a very hard job, adolescence, they call it. But if the parents or proper guidance is there during that time, then that, uh, that kind of discipline will help them the remaining part of their life up to old age. So what is acquired, what is disciplined? That's why in our Hindu system, by eight years, the girl is eligible for marriage. And by eighth year, the boy is eligible. The boy is eligible uh, to get to Upanayanam or the other way called Brahmopadesham. So the Gayatri mantra, when he is introduced, that will take care of the mind and behavior of the individual. Therefore, the Devanam Dhamanama si Gayatri. So that's why Tamaha, Damaha, and Brahma Vitvam, Brahma is Vedas. 
Brahma is Vedic wisdom and uh, Brahma is the noble knowledge. So one has to always turn to noble literature, scriptures, and uh, also follow uh, the character and uh, bio data or the history of the noble people because they are highly inspiring. They, they, there is a lot of, lot of hardship. Therefore, one has to know the scriptures. So Vedanta Jnanam or Brahma Jnanam, that's why in Mahanara and Upanishad, ultimately having been given so many thoughts, the Rushi Maharshi says, Atmanam Vedayati. You should be able to know who you are and what you are to do, where you have got to plan to go. And all these things are considerations which have also to be kept in mind, Atmanam Vedayati. How are you getting that Atmanam Vedayati? Nyasa eva paramam vadanti. Nyasa is superimposition. That is, you should try to place yourself on the noble knowledge or learning or meeting sajjanas and so on and so forth. Some kind of noble behavior should be there. All that attempt is called Brahma Vitvam. And even Kalidasa said once, especially the boys are a problem because they are going to be the architects of the future generations. Therefore, if the boy is well disciplined, automatically the discipline follows with the woman, girls. So they say that uh, the even Aitareya Upanishad tells you, and tells us that Aitareya Maharshi tells that the creation originally uh, lies with the boy or man, and that man is the creator or a representator of representative of Brahmadeva. He makes use of all males. And then females for the continuation of the praja. Therefore, praja yai pashu, praja or pashu should be like that. Therefore, brahma vitvam and punyam vivaha are most important because Arjuna in Bhagavad Gita has pointed out to Krishna if I were to kill all these men or soldiers or warriors, then the women go astray. When, when women go astray, varna sankaro jayate mahapapam. To, to create or to opportunity for varna sankara or varna antara vivaha or etc. will be a problem because uh, it, they will be all chandalas. That according to Manu, who is a chandala, who is the result of the intercaste dalliances. Well, all those principles are gone nowadays, but the scripture is there, the dharma is there, the knowledge is there up to the extent that we are able to make hay or come to know about it. Something like blessing on your dining table, sugar, milk and decoction separately. So it is up to you to make a combination of a, a, a coffee or tea according to your taste, according to your liking, according to your health. So. So those who are diabetic do not take sugar, add sugar. They are also discrimination. So in that manner, our Vedic knowledge, the Brahma, Brahma Gnanam gives you all details. And up, it is up to the intelligence and wisdom and culture and nobility of the individual to be able to choose what is wanted. That's and vita and punyam divaha vitanaha means you know our Manu and Al Dharma Shastrakaras have given eight kinds of vivahas. First one is Brahmi Vivaha, and then we have got Gandhar Vivaha, then we have got Rakshasa Vihara Vivaha, and also Paisachika Vivaha, and in between also another four vivaha. So this is a big uh, subject. Vivaha means what? So, punyam vivaha, vivaha, so visheshena vahati. Up to the last breath of life, both man and woman, they are having the anubandha, prema, preeti, pravaha. That's why in vivaha sukta, I mean, in the, in the, in the mantras of the vivaha, there is ashirvada gadya. There are 10 mantras uh, which will form the ashirvada, punya vivaha, when it is that sadhas they do it, there the Brahmins join together 
will give blessings to the babe, to the vadhu and vara, and that will sustain whole life. There, the first one will be parasvara prema pravaha janita. Like that, it goes up. So, any any product that they do it, it is only under mutual agreement and mutual love and affection. Otherwise, they lead to arguments and uh, uh, problems. So, if at all there were not to be problems in the samsaric life, if it is a punya vivaha, they should have that compatibility. They should have that kind of tulya uh, silatvam and so on. So, that exactly is called as punya vivaha. Punya vivaha means vivahas do take place. It's after all a biological urge for man and woman to come together. But that biological urge, uh, urge must be sanctioned by the Shastra and Dharma and all, so many things, then only it is called as a Punya. Because Punya Vivaha means Dharma Vivaha. Because even to beget children is a Dharma Kriya. Even to look after the children is a Dharma Kriya. There is no rewarding expectations in that. So therefore, Vidura, when he says in your scriptures, I always tell you, why are marriages taking place? A marriage, there is no contract marriages. There are no temporary marriages, something like that. Nothing like that. Marriage is Pani Grahanam. Pani means support, help. So Pani Grahanam means uh, it is a help to each other until the last breath of life. That, is, that kind of Mahavivaha is called as a Punya Vivaha. Punya is uphold, prosperous, forward. And that means the, 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 the Vivaha should be a forwarding principle will be a friendship. So that's why it's called Punya Vivaha. And Satata Annadanam. Ye Annadanam. There is no higher Danam, Param Danam than Annadanam. Because, you know, our scriptures tell us there are 16 Danas beginning from land. Bhudanam, Bhuridanam, Rathaduragadanam, Anna Pradanam, Antapogate, Sloka. So like that, the sloka goes that Anna Pradhanam, ultimately Kanya Pradhanam. So Kanya Pradhana is again 16th or the ranked one. So to give away a daughter to a man, birthday person, because it is going to be enhancing the entire Kulam. A girl has a lot of sacrifice. The very, very, the very birth of a girl is a sacrifice. That's why it is said, Man loses liberty, man, woman, her happiness, the, man, the moment the marriage takes place. She may be happy in her, in her parents' house, but when once she starts an independent house with a new man, with a new family members, etc., it's really a great uh, janma for her. To give birth for a lady, for a child is also another janma, puner janma. So thereby, there is a lot of support and communication and conveyance which a girl bears it. Therefore, it is said that Shastrena Pandita Purushaha Nisarga Deva Pandita Hastriyaha Kalidasa says, women need not go to institutions and torture themselves with this. But by birth, they have a lot of managerial capacity in them. They can manage high-grade scholars, high-grade scientists. If all people are able to be highly prosperous in the firmament of fame and name and achievement and research, it's all because of the woman in the house. That's why the woman is a very, that's why in uh, Asumedha Yaga, we make a prayer, Purandhir Yosha, Jishnu Rathestha, Sabheyo Yuva, Asya Yajamanasya, Jayatam, Ajayatam. So the Yajamana, the Maharaja, or anybody who performs the sacrifice must have a wife who will be Purandhi. Yosha is a woman. Purandhi is the acquirement, acquisition and merit and character building up, etc. is all Purandhi. Puram dhriyate yaya sa Purandhi. So she has to be interested to support the family members, the friends of her husband and her own and see that everybody is happy. If she cooks in the house, if there are 10 members, all the 10 members' health depends upon the kitchen of the house. So I don't want to talk much about That's why the vivahas are there. There is only a biological convenience which all people run after. 
but it should be a punya dharma punya means dharma so punya is dharma papa is adharma so like that punya vivaha and satatam annadanam see in olden days we used to have anna satras there used to be places where they they used to give food freely so annadanam therefore there are some people who have surname also annadanam their ancestors must have must practice the annadanam so my own uh, uncle they belong to long he's no more but they are all people belonging to the surname annadanam annadanam venkara venkobarao like that so annadanam satat annadanam somebody must have done in the previous life i mean in the ancestry but their name and surname their name we take it up so that becomes a surname so annadanam and when these gunas are there in people they are all really taken as born in the mahakulas it is not at all great to be born in <clears throat> noble families but it is great when we are able to sustain the nobility of the on fame of the families so bhartrar he says in his subhashitas sajato yena cha sajato yena cha atena yati vamsha samunnatim so that is really a good birth who because of whose birth the, the pedigree and the ennobling of the family becomes really great and we have hundreds of examples even today where they, if you talk about the birth of them is very low small families and but they have achieved the highest rank by virtue of number of things so that's why mahakulani and we have number of people so if you talk about the all great people uh, go to the origin you see our ordinary people now in the next one try again another board another definition has been given yesham navruttam yathate one person na yonihi vrutta prasadena charanti dharmam ye kirtim ichanti kule visishtam chittan rutaha tani mahakulani beautiful chittan rutani see and don has to give up like rama anrutam speaking so always speak truth so uh, anrutani chettani so rama even today respected because of the anrutam which has given up and even, even today among all great rishis we have agastya maharshi he is a very powerful rishi among rishis as you see and uh, because the very name tell you that agastya so he is one rishi who has made a tyaga of sin so aga is the sin stya is tyaga so uh, that's why it's called chakta anruta hatani and again see esham navruttam yathate your behavior must not annoy others irritate other so for example duryodhana's behavior is irritating always even bhishma could not speak a word when draupadi vastra aparanam apaharanam took place so even bibhishna could not much do anything when there was that kind of odd circumstances even kumbhakarna they are they are better than ravanasura and so in fact in rama has got a soft corner for kumbhakarna uh, bibhishna but what he can do with because they are all fighting on their side of uh, on the you know, the kumbhakarna but he they are all obliged if uh, king is adharmic the though he is dharmic he has no independence to adopt it actually kumbhakarna also advised ravana go and give it out see the pra, you are you are talking that because all this is uh, so many vanaras have come to he come here and it all because of you you just go and return submit yourself to rama the problem solved very simple when ravana when kumbhakarna told ravana that he you can imagine his fury and looking at the difficulty of ravana's emotions then kumbhakarna said okay babu i'll go i will help you and like that because looking at kumbhakarna only ravana sura waged war 
because Vibhishna left the yard, he walked out, he did it. So like that, so Vrittam Yathate, moreover among all Kare, all Rakshasas, Ravana is said to be a terrific fellow. He is a terrorist of maximum. That's why Chitra Himsa Ravana Badha, there is a proverb in our uh, tradition, people used to say Chitra Himsa Ravana Badha. Himsa and Badha, these are the top ones. So that character or behavior and judgment and decisions must not uh, give displeasure for good people. Second one is Vritta Prasade Charanti Dharmam. So Dharma Charana is important. Dharma is duty. One has to adopt that particular Dharma and be a convenient. See, in Mahabharata, Arjuna wanted to swerve from the dharmic way. But because of the presence of Krishna, he could not do it. But he, he was kept on the path of dharma once again. That's exactly where you have got the Bhagavad Gita. See, so in the first chapter, Arjuna Vishada Yoga, you have noted, where Arjuna has cried, Duryodhana has no Vishada. Because he just came to Dronacharya and said, all these people are, 11 Akshohinis are there, and Bhishma, Krupa, Suttama, all warriors are there, and uh, everyone is ready to uh, give up their pranam. Maya Bhadarthe Chakta Jivitaha. And so he was happily with that assertion and pride, Duryodhana goes off. But when Arjuna looked at uh, his own kith and kin, there was change in mind, and he wanted to but in a, a Krishna said, no, dharmam is important. As a kshatriya, sut kshatriya partha labhante yuddham idrusham. Aya, only lucky kshatriyas will get an opportunity. A, a war like this, not all people. You are a lucky warrior. You have a plentitude of opportunity to become constantly famous. And uh, so dharma nidharam sreyaha paradharmo vayavaha. You to adopt your own dharma is always better. You are a kshatriya. And so samatvam yoga uchyate yujhasva tasmat yujhasva bharata yogi bhava arjuna. So like that he has been infusing that kind of uh, charana or behavior. And uh, Arjuna was a good boy. So he just obeyed Krishna and then did it. In fact, Krishna, Arjuna wanted not to kill Krishna, Karna. Although Krishna said, employ your arrow over Karna when he was trying to get the wheel up. No, this is a prime opportunity for you. If you miss the entire Bharata, Mahabharata war is a failure. So then he has to oblige. So Dharma is always one. And Kshatriya should not look at uh, discriminate. So when there is a real reason to punish, he has to, even Tataki to kill. Rama was refusing to kill that Tataki, a female. Then uh, Vishwamitra ordered, convinced Rama to employ arrow against Tataki, a woman. Secondly, he also remembered his father's words because Rama is a sincere son to his father, Dasaratha. So Dasaratha, sent Rama with intention that uh, Vishwamitra's desire is being fulfilled. So accordingly, it was done like that. And not, see, uh, third one is, ye kirti mitchanti kule visishtam. One should not be egoistic, personal. Always look to your personal and never think of the impersonal. That's why you have known Lalita Sahasnamam. What, why you think of Lalita Parameswarya Mahatribha Sandari? Because loka yatra vidhayini. She is one who is taking care of uh, the entire activity of the people in the world. Loka, all lokas must be under action. And nowhere there should be stoppage of the action. If at all there is stoppage of the action, it's a problem. So, for example, now I saw, somewhere I saw the news that in Kerala, in some, some ocean, stopped a movement or waves. No, it is no it is no static, stable. So the ocean is stable. We can imagine how much problem. We don't know what is that. So it should not happen. 
Prakriti was Gopan going in his own uh, behavior and movement and activity. So Kule Visishtam Kirtimichanti, by your action, whether my parents are helped, my family is uplifted. That's what it says. Yati Vamsam, Yati Kulam Unnatim. So that's impersonal. There should be not egoistic. And Visukule Visishtam, Chetta Andruta Mapi Mahakulani. So Andruta is something which is attractive and that avoid every kind of falsehood. But that kind of uh, discipline is very hard to get. Even Dharmaraja, so he was, I was tempted to make two mistakes, two mistakes or two sins. Therefore, at first he went to hell, then to other places. Then Yama Dharmaraja explains to Dharmaraja, why you came with your, why you came to hell first, not to meet me, to meet your brothers because you have committed two mistakes. You know all that. One is Aswatthama Hataha, Kunjaraha is slow. And second mistake is he never scolded anybody in, in, the, in his life. He's a Mahatma of top importance. But uh, due to the rehearsals given by Krishna to Dharmaraja the previous night, and uh, to say, to scold Duryodhana. Because Duryodhana, he has so much love to Duryodhana, but it was only one way, Rasabhasa. Duryodhana has no love and regard for that Dharmaraja. Therefore, there was a war. But Dharmaraja was asked to speak uh, uh, their foul words or ugly words or admonition, admonish uh, Duryodhana, who was inside the uh, Jalastam inside the waters with Jalastam Vidya. For 12 months, he, cannot, he can remain inside the water. That was the yoga, yoga Siddhi, which Duryodhana had, as we understand. So Jalastam Vidya is there. Because our India, our Bharat is known for yogins who have got expert yoga, yoga, yogas. And uh, for example, Parakaya Pravesa, our Sankaracharya is top. Not that there were not others. There were, but we remember contextually the Parakaya Pravesa Vidya or Yoga exercised by Sankaracharya. So when, when Dharmaraja chided Dhritara, I mean Duryodhana, he cannot stand a, a Mahatma being chided by the other Mahatma. So immediately he came up from the uh, waters and uh, then the Yudham take place. So that's why Kula, see, Andruta ni karma, but he has not left it off. But uh, he, but circumstances make some people to go astray. But not going astray is Rama. So Rama is Dharma Paraha, Dharma Murtihi. And uh, he told Sita when he, when he brought uh, after her to his place after marriage. So Rama, if he says that, Rushibhi Tulyam Maam Vidhi Kevalam Dharma Masitam. Sita, don't think that like all other people, I keep on expanding my country, I mean my Rajyam and acquire more health. No. Please note that. Rushibhi Tulyam Maam Vidhi. You please consider me. Though I'm a married man, I am just living like an ascetic. What is ascetic? Kevalam Dharma Masitam. My prime. A resort is only for dharma. So that is, that's why Rama is never questioned at all. If at all he is questioned, he has got answers. There are only two questions to Rama in the entire Ramayana. Vali questions him, then Javali Maharshi questions him. But he was able to silence both the fellows and established himself as a dharma murti. Anyway, now that I am reading the 27th sloka, Brahm, Brahmananam Parivavatu Pariva Parivadacha Bharata Kulanya Kulatam Yanti Nyasa Paharane Nacha Kulani Savupetani Gobihi Purusha Purusha To Swataha Kula Sankhas Kula Sangham Nagachanti Yani Hinani Ruttataha Vruttataha tu avihi nani kulan yalpadhananyapi kula sankhya tu 
ಗಚ್ಛಂತಿ ಕುಲ ಸಂಖ್ಯಾಂತು ಗಚ್ಛಂತಿ ಕರ್ಷಂಚಿತ ಮಯದ್ಯಸ ಕರ್ಚ ಮಯದ್ಯಸ ಮಾನ ಕುಲೆ ವೈರ ವೈರ ಕೃತು ಕಶ್ಚಿದಸ್ತು ರಾಜಾಮಾಚ್ಯೋ ಮಾ ಪರಸ್ವಾಪಹಾರಿ ಮಿತ್ರದ್ರೋಹಿ ನೈಕೃತಿಕೋ ನೃತೋ ಅನೃತಿ ವಾ ಪೂರ್ವಾಸೀರ್ವಾ ಪಿತೃದೇವಾತಿಥಿಭ್ಯ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದೀಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸಿ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹೌ ದಿ ಹೈ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲೀಸ್ ಫಾಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಲೋ ಈಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ ದೋ ಇನ್ ದಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲೀಸ್ ದಿ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲೀಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಆಲ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾರೇಜ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಟ್ರೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಇನ್ವೈಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಫ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನದರ್ ಗರ್ಲ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಬಾಯ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲೀಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದಿ ಬಾಯ್ ಆರ್ ಗರ್ಲ್ also become additional wealth for the family so that's how the marriages shubha vivahas or punya vivahas are a great uh, gathering and support now look at the shloka number brahmananam paribhavatu number 1 and parivada cha bharata kulani akulato yanti nyasa paharane na cha so noble families lose their nobility because of these reasons having described the noble families now you have one has to think about or point out even those features which will simply bring down the heights of the nobility of the families so kula nashakah kula patakah kula kula nashakah so kulam nasanam ayipothundi kula kulam lo paapanni antagartaru actually man's life is just like a glass bottle very very delicate and man's life or a human life or anybody's life is a, is a blood bottle you know when man falls when when the skin and flesh cut cut the blood comes out otherwise blood is hidden inside but blood is comes out but bone does not get out so in our aruna prashna and in uh, in uh, in saura uh, suktam of the rigveda talking about the mantras belonging to he says that everything is visible but not the bones in our body so bones are always hidden and that, that is what is the paramatma so here we have got the reasons why families lose their prestige kulana sakasi that's why varnantara vivaha is one question and here brahmananam paribhavah trying to insult those people who are on the path of austerity hey today you are going to temple why are you going to temple let's go to movie that is that is not advisable if anybody is having some kind of bent of uh, fortunately some noble bent of mind try to give value for that okay today you go temple tomorrow we go elsewhere that's adjustment so brahmana is who is brahmana brahma with brahmana ha he who is knowing about brahma who is knowing about the veda who is knowing about the god who is knowing about the uh, gayatri or everything all that which comes under the word brahma what is brahma ya vai bruhatu tad vai brahma whatever is noble whatever is huge whatever is highest that's what we call as a brahma so those people who adopt who follow the brahma brahma they are called brahmana na is na so brahmana means they are the promoters of vedic knowledge vedic wisdom and the existence of the gods bring the influence of the gods etc they are all called brahmins in chaitriya uh, upanishad we have got that ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ದೃಷ್ಟ ನಾಶ್ಲೀರಂ ಭಾಷೆಯೇತು ಪ್ರೀಣಯಂತೀ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ 
who are trying to make the gods pleased on your behalf. Because the moment the Purohit comes to our house, there is a discipline in our house. All those people who are otherwise busy in the house, they all join in the puja gruha, interested, and allow the pujari or the prohit to start the puja. Then he says, taking permission, Vagamarthanta Devanam, he starts calling, Ranam, Vaganapati Gum Havamahe. So, whether Ganapati Ahwana or Devata Ahwana to be done, the Purohit has got to take the permission of the people that have gathered. Even in the Punyaha mantras also we see, Om Punyaham Bhavanto, Punyaham, first the priest says, Punyaham. Again, the priest wants the approval of all the people who are gathered there in the council there. He says, Om Punyaham Bhavanto, Bhavanto. Oh, all of you kindly repeat, confirm, that let this day be a good day, punyaha, a good day. Like that, there should not be paribhava or insult, humiliation. People are these days talking about Hinduism being criticized and all that. No, that will not stand because Hinduism is not today or Vedism is not today's worth. It has got a lot of ancestry and therefore we call it as a sanatana dharma. And Adhunatana Dharma, Sanatana Dharma. What is Sanatana Dharma is Janatana. And whatever dharmas that have, that have come afterwards, they are all called Adhunatana Dharmas. So Adhunatana Dharmas have always the copying of uh, knowledge and culture, etc. from what is available already. Because nobody is free. And our Ananda Vardhana, a great satirist says that nobody can claim upon one's own shoulders. Nakopi Atmanaha Skandham Avarohati. You cannot climb, you cannot climb on your own shoulder, but you can always climb over others' shoulder and reach the heights. Therefore, he says that Brahmananam Parivavaha, you cannot do any kind of insult or crap reprimanding or anything like that. And if at all you do it, Brahmanadvesha or Brahmadvesha, and that's why Sankaracharya also says in one of the songs, yes. Pauro hityam ratanitaritam Brahmani Brahmani tum yoga Brahmadvesha Kalajanaratihi Praninam nidayatvam Mabhu devam Mama Pasupate jan majan mantarevi Ashiva Parasastotra probably there he says no Brahmadvesha never you have inclination to criticize Vedas to condemn Vedas or the practitioners of the Vedas, or the religionists of the Vedas, or the fellow philosophers who bring the Vedic wisdom to our table, desk to desk, so to our desk. And all these great followers have got to be respected. And so, and again, Parivada, Bharata should not have ill of Brahmins and misappropriation of the things. Kulan, Akulatam, Yanti. So misappropriation, abusing, all that should be parivada, trying to talk always against opposition. Hey, what, who, see, who is Indriya? Indra, hey, what is there in him? Nothing. So there are, there are so many systems or now, dharsanas, which do not give good attestation for the Vedic things. The Charvakas, see, dead yesterday, enjoy today, don't know tomorrow. That is one principle. No. So what is what is done yesterday is today's hey. And what hey today you do it, it is tomorrow's wealth. So like that, there are always uh, vada, prativa, parivada. So bharata and akulatam yanti kulani and nyasa apaharane That's most important. You make promises, but you take it. For example, sita apaharana is a great thing. Actually, Janaka Maharaja has rested all about Jana Janaki, his own daughter, foster daughter, to Rama. Rama's wife is Dharmapatni, is Janaki or Sita or Vaidehi. But what did Rama do? He has done the Apaharana. The Nyasa of Sita in Rama has been um, taken away by Ravanasura in Ramayana times for that kind of apaharana. What is the punishment? 
the punishment is only death. So Ravana was killed for just a simple crime that he snatched away uh, the, the one's another's wife. Actually, if you look at it, Ravana had so many women wives uh, brought from so many lokas. Ravana means Trivanam Rakshasasyatatu and the Ravalmik Maharshaltan. It's a Trivanam. Actually, Ravana Asura does not know who belongs to which place. It's a Vanam means forest. In forest, it's hard for us to know the names of the trees. And uh, trees and trees and trees are there in forest. So, Trivanam Rakshasasyatatu. But, his desire for a married woman brought all problem. So the problem came. That's what Sita in her dialogue with Ravana says, no, Parastri Kansha is very bad. And because they are interested in their husband, but anybody other person is a problem, he will not be come. So there is a lot of dialogue. That's why Nyasa is one. Similarly, if somebody keeps money with you, ultimately you say you are not given at all. So this is what exactly Nyasa is depositing. So Kalidasa says in Abhignana Sakuntalam that artho hi kanya paraki yayeva. Always a daughter belongs to others, not to the family. Kanya artha, artha is wealth. Kanya artha is always going to others' places. Paraki yayeva. Now uh, Kandva says today depositing her to the right person or claimant, climber, and I am now freed. Nyasa Yuva, Pracharpita Nyasa Yuva Antaratma. Now my Antaratma is highly pleased. The moment I have deposited my girl, my responsibility upon the girl to Dushyanta, her husband, who chose her and who married her through Kandharva wife. So that's why Nyasa Apaharana, you should never do Apaharana of the Nyasa. Thereby the Kula, the see, though the Ravana is born in noble family, but the all that Paulusti Vamsa has brought a brought a bad name to that. And again, in the next 28th sloka, I observe Kulani, Samupetani, Gobhi, Purushataha, Purushataha, Ashwataha, Kulasangha, Nagachanti, Yani Hinani, Vrittataha. See, those families that are possessed of members, wealth and kind are not regarded as families if they be wanting in good manners and conduct. So most important is they wealth does not give good conduct and they are not. But what is wealth is manners and good conduct. These are the two things which are regarded to bring a great reputation to the families. And uh, in fact, Bhartura says, Keyu Rani Nabhu Shayanti Purusham Harana Chandra Jwala Nasnanam Navile Panam Nakusumam Nalankruta Murtajaha Vanyeka Samalankaro Ti Purusham Ya Samskruta Dharyate A Samskruta Vani Yad Dharyate. So he is only really decked. Alankara Shalankara Havati. So here, by possessing all these uh, wonderful possessions, they will not have the ennobling of the family. So, Kulasangha Nagachanti, but Hina Anivrutataha, they become Hina Kulas. So, Mahakula, Hina Kula. So, it is very, very easy to have, to, to erase the dignity and character and decorum of the families by your behavior, correct and conduct. That's why. The Bombay University has kept for all the students to remember, for all staff members, or the world remember the motto, Sila Vrutta Phala Vidya. That is the motto of Bombay University. See exactly what is Vidya, what is noble behavior, what is noble family, Sila and Vrutta, character and conduct. Phala, if you, if you are a good student of good knowledge, then your character and conduct gets mended repaired or ennobled and put on the right way. So here Vidura is talking about the character and conduct. Whenever he mentions the idea of Hinakula and Mahakula. So even Kula does not uh, uh, get nobility by virtue of the wealth it makes, by virtue of the number of horses it possesses, by virtue of number of cows it has got, but by virtue of good manners, 
good conduct that is what is that then so in the, we are just getting the details dhrashtra is getting the data not that he doesn't know but these are to be pointed out to us so that we can uh, we can take conscience i mean cognizance of them what is what because you know to know the forest is no good knowledge but if you know the trees of the forest then you are a forest no, then, then you have got a vanavidya and varamala bhushitaye lalitambika lalitam mahalakshmi namo namaha so varamala that is to say that you must have a knowledge the forest officer indian forest service means they must be having good knowledge about all forests for example our india has got has been divided uh, because of the forests india is known because of the aranyas so vindhyaranya dandakaranya kirakikaranya and so on there are so many aranyas or forests and that is one mode of dividing or knowing the areas of bharat likewise the rivers likewise the places where so in naimisaranya all sages lived and uh, all puranas have come up right suta suta mahamuni etc were there but in dandakaranya more and more rakshasas were there so rama had not to stay much in naimisaranya vindhyaranya or inyaranya he was he was ultimately to reach dandakaranya because the, the, all the rushis have were the ups for him so all uh, rushi to rushi rushi to rushi he went on and ultimately he arrived with kishkindha so to to come to kishkindha in dandakaranya was really a great issue and that's why how did what was the ups for uh, uh, ramana rama okay 14 years how to spend time a great warrior who has got a number of powers of astra shastra strength avatar purusha but his his time is very much important something like that of shankara who used his time so powerful within 4 into 8 years so 32 years so 8 8 8 years for 4 4 8 years he has turned out a tremendous work and in fact he has made a tour of the whole india and he said that the niryana of shankaracharya took place in kedarnath he just walked to kailasam from kedarnath that's what one of the use to go. so anyway so like that the time upon the earth given to us is wonderfully precious kalaha swalpaha bahavascha vignaha tat sara bhutam parimarkitavyam that's exactly is the message that that vidura is giving saying that the it is only the manners good conduct that would only enrich uh, the kulas and also bring more reputation not by any wealth possession and all that na keyura and bhushana etc so i think i am just at time so i stop here we continue thank you very much om swasti sarvam shri krishna arpanamastu सर्व श्री मातृचरणारविंदर्पणमस्त ओं तत्सत नमस्ते अंकल जी एक क्वेश्चन है व्हाई एट ईयर ओल्ड गर्ल वाज रेडी फॉर मैरिज यू सेड इन आवर स्क्रिप्चर व्हाट इज दैट व्हाई मींस बिकॉज़ मैच्योरिटी इज टू बिग टू अर्ली फॉर गर्ल्स देन मैन ओके ओके बॉयज डू नॉट गेट मैच्योरिटी क्विकली एंड and utility of that to, to compare to girls that's why women even though they are 12 years or 14 years they are able to manage the wonderful scholars wonderful warriors wonderful so all oh, everything belongs to, unless the woman agrees a, a soldier cannot go to war or cannot join the military etc so woman has got advanced uh, intelligence and uh, managerial powers we, we are all seeing that every man depends upon the woman and if the yeah. woman in the house is really intelligent guiding lovable affectionate the man is really having heaven if the yes. women in the house are if the women in the house are happily friendly and talking the fellow who goes to office will be happy he will not have problem but if there is a quarrel and dismay and all that in the house if he goes to office he will shout at his employees and he yeah. will not 
purely function in the office and another point is if the woman in the, if the woman is quite uh, virtuous she will not attempt she will not tempt her husband to accept bribes if all the officers wives were to be really good for example a police constable's wife asks i want to own reshmi sari a silken sari how can you afford to bring a rich uh, but he has to go out astray and bring one uh, silk sari for his wife supposing the wife says no i don't want let us be it's in our own limbs then the man will not go astray that's what if there was a statement if all the officers wives were to be very good in the house and not tempting their husbands to go astray and accept black money or otherwise then there will be a lot of uh, morality in the administration is it not correct this is ghar ek mandir yeah yeah the home is like a temple yeah, correct right. missing it's called manavalayam devalayam manavalayam pashualayam pakshyalayam the word alaya is very significant in sanskrit because alaya is that place where you rest for happiness not for quarrels hmm there is yeah. like a home is it not our devalaya means it is a peaceful place for gods to be live and because they are peaceful because of the pujas that we do large number of them they are peaceful when they are peaceful our submission of the prayers will be attended by them instantaneously there yes. will be drushti pata paraspara drushti pata that's why you see the, the moment you enter into temple the purohit will take that harati and show to harati to god and give you that that is the drushti of parmatma through the lamp reaches your eyes because eye is the most important uh, part in the entire body sarvendriyanam nayanam pradhanam is it not so a woman is a power woman that's why she is a nari and again mari if she is a nari she is helpful to you if the she becomes a mari a destroyer nobody can stand with before her she can do a lot of wonders negative and positive therefore ashtavarsha bhavet gauri he used the word gauri gauravarna talks about the purity and of course afterwards what the girl gets is called puberty in english you can say that pu pu is there that's a pavitrata she she becomes a pavitravati when she reaches around 10 to 11 12 years of age depending upon the girl's biological situation they get maturity so eight years they get preparation and uh, get into the that and later on they get santanam after when they become so the our organ the social human organization is so beautiful uh, designed by our rishis that we have nothing to criticize but we are not adopting we have our own organizational policies because of which we are having number of hospitals number of medical shops number of doctors number of problems okay sir i think like this thank you uncle thank you mm. namaste namaste sri ram thank you